you saw me uh, talk about this frame in the bush. That was about a week ago. I was elsewhere. And the build is only a couple of days away. And I thought I'd explain the rest of Project Caledonia. Or at least another element. I'm happy to say I have all of the requisite parts for the complete project. And I'll just put that aside. And the aim today is to introduce a critical element of the bike, the wheels. Surely that package would make you smile, wouldn't it? One thing I'll say is that they are absolutely beautifully packed. The first element is a lock ring and a tubeless valve. I've ridden tubeless before and I understand the benefits and I've spoken with many a mechanic and a few bike shop owners and plenty of people who have ridden tubeless. I know some mountain bikers evidently. And I've ridden zip wheels before, but these are the new 303s. They've got a new look in 2020. They look fabulous and they are disc brake ready, of course. They're kindly supplied by SRAM and unfortunately they're media wheels, which means after a couple of months of use, I'll have to send them back. In the meantime, it's great for the story because the aim is to try and build a bike with a little bit of difference here and there. That's basically it. I'll go and grab the scales and then I'll unbox the wheels, show off some of the highlights and talk you through what I notice when I first look at them. I'll do the front wheel first because there's not quite so many features. I'd spent a couple of hours on the phone with an engineer from Zip when they launched the new logo earlier this year and he explained a whole lot of detail about the tech. Um, I didn't type that whole interview out. He had a hell of a lot to say. But if you're interested let me know and I'll um, basically run the whole hour and a bit as a podcast and you can listen to it on SoundCloud. But I can see that the wheels come obviously fitted with a um, what appears to be a rim tape, but it's uh, much more glamorous than your typical rim tape. In other words, it goes basically uh, edge to edge, but it does have a little rubbery feel. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't know that kind of speed, but I'll give you a few close-ups. So that's the front wheel. So 717 gram. And uh, that's about all I can say about them. I'll listen to what Anthony has to say as he's building them up because he'll know a hell of a lot more, more, more about the tech. The finish down here on the spokes, it does um, have a little bit of a, a different, different colour on the spokes. You can, I don't know if you can notice that in the light, but it sort of feels like it's a, you know, it looks a bit like a barbecue um, plate. Or it changes in colour based on heat. I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe I'll ask Zip. Okay, the back wheel now. Just a closer look at the uh, lock ring and the valve. as well. Oh, maybe even better news. It's not as noisy as the one I had before. Well, I'm quite happy about that. I've been told that there's quite a debate about uh, free hub noise. Should they make it loud or quiet? If you've got an opinion on it, please leave a comment. I'd like to know what you think. Let's see if I can get that um, little protector off without having to pull too many silly faces. If you haven't seen it before, it's so rudimentary with the 12-speed uh, uh, SRAM cassette. You just basically get it as a block, you chuck it on and you spin it on and you tighten it up and off you go. Even a fool like me can do it, but don't talk to Dave Evans, who's a uh, local SRAM bloke, about uh, the potential of stripping the thread. In other words, even if it is pretty simple and you can do it yourself, take it to a bike shop and get a guy who knows what they're doing to do it properly. 
with the proper tools, with the proper torque setting, and you can't go wrong. All right, I actually thought I'd be talking a hell of a lot more about them, but that's that's that. That's uh, my new Zip 303S wheels, so I'm pretty excited. I'll bang them on the scale, and that'll pretty much be the end of this video. Rear wheel, coming in at 835 grams. I was expecting to make a little bit more of a fuss than that, but um, there's still a lot to do in the workshop. Can't exactly go around riding them like that, can you? We'll get the rotors popped on, free hub applied, tyres and uh, sealant are done correctly by a professional. And uh, I think what uh, is really interesting is just the nature of this flat inside, which doesn't have the hook that you might be used to with traditional um, high-pressure tyres. That's it, uh, round two so far of uh, the Project Caledonia. Project Caledonia. I've got to get used to saying it. You'll probably get used to seeing it. Uh, if I go too much on detail, you know what you can do? Fast forward. But, um, if I get to something that you want to know more about, make sure you leave a comment and uh, I'll see if I can do my best to uh, respond or get the uh, answers to any questions you might have. Thanks for watching. Let's go uh, for a ride. I think they're going to be pretty well matched. What do you reckon? Good times.